I've never seen as much unity as I've seen at Standing Rock. People of all colors, all backgrounds, all groups coming together to support this issue. Native Americans and other activists are concerned the Dakota Access Pipeline will damage drinking water and sacred sites. Protesters at the Dakota Access Pipeline continue to be met with insane violence. People need to recognize this is bigger than just a fight for oil, and it's bigger than just this pipeline itself. And, and it's actually happening now as we speak. There are more police officers there, militarized police officers there on the scene, than there are protesters. I think it's like maybe a two to one ratio. Because there's a fear that the cops that are coming in on those boats over there have actual bullets. uniting of native communities, not only in the U.S., but from all around the world. There's been representatives of other indigenous people from Norway, from Australia, from New Zealand, from South and Central America, and over 250 tribes here in the United States. This has been 500 years of oppression, and it has to stop now. The company directly responsible for building the back and pipeline, Dakota Access, is directly sponsored by 17 banks, including domestic names like Wells Fargo and Citibank, each contributing around half a billion dollars. That if you don't take up and you don't promote and stand up for it now, you end up saying, why am I being run through? Why do I have lead in my water? Why is my water poisoned? Why do I have to move? It's because you failed to stand and act now. and wind gusts of over 30 miles an hour. We're here today in a very dignified and peaceful way. We're happy to be here because our bravery flows from compassion and love. It doesn't flow from fear or anger.